Okay, so what's your thought? What's your thoughts on Gunner? He took a pl- and, and it's the same thing. The YSL um, trial started. They they trying to find jurors. They're saying that that trial is going to last something for for a year, which is um, ridiculous. S- several of those dudes took plea deals. Um, Gunner, he took his plea. He said, "Yo, I ain't snitch," but he did say. Why sales a criminal enterprise? Is that technically right. snitching? So, okay, so I dealt with a RICO case myself okay. with Source Magazine, right? That started out as a RICO. The investigation lasted for like two and a half years. They interviewed over 100 people. And luckily for me, they just couldn't connect the docs for an indictment. So I got indict- indicted for tax evasion, took it to trial, and won. This is how it works. A RICO was made up for the mob back then with the thinking that. The Ricos is it doesn't work if if snitching isn't involved. It just doesn't work because their whole thing is to get the head. And you know what I'm saying? The head and even whoever is controlling the money, the businesses, they have to get because that's how all the other guys eat. So the conventional thinking is if we take the head, everything else falls. Right? That's why, you know, Sammy the Bull got over with killing a bunch of people because they it was so important for them to get John Gotti because they're thinking if we get John Gotti then all these other guys fall. The mafia grows different heads though and one head goes then another head comes. So you know but I'm just giving you how the feds think that the feds would allow murder to be okay just to get the head. So in their mind dogs the head. And you know, shout out to Thug, man. Like, me and Thug did a, a song together, man. I got to meet him, man. I can only judge these guys on how they treated me, man. It was always, it was always dope, man. And you know, shout out to Young Thug. All right. But back on that. So, in order for the prosecutor to make the RICO work, is when, once they find out that um that you have, once they find out that in their mind there's a group of men that's being organized with money to do different crimes, then, then what they'll do is they indict everybody on smaller charges, but the RICO can get them all indicted under the RICO Act that they're all again. That's the thinking. So that is what gets, without the RICO, they wouldn't be able to get them all in at one time to sit down because a RICO is no bail. You know, the initial charges, I mean, Gunner had, it was bullshit charges from some of them guys. But because it was the RICO, that allows the judge to say no bail. And the thinking is, well, everybody else will lock everybody up. And since it is RICO, the numbers are enhanced. We'll put these numbers in these guys' minds and we'll just sit back and just wait. Just sit and wait. We'll sit and wait. And, you know, guys that beat the RICO charges, it, 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 you, you necessarily don't beat a RICO charge, but everybody will get sentenced just for the head won't go for life because the head in the RICO goes for life. State, Fed, if you other, if you get charged RICO status as the head, you go for life. That's the, that's the general thinking. In order to do that, you have to kind of play chess. So the first chess moves that the prosecutor did by what I seen was they that, you know, they figure that the defense is that, hey, that they were rap, that they were um, labeled, which they are. Successful as hell. And was only going to get successful. Remember, Gunner just had a number one album in the country. Absolutely. All right? So, super successful. Again, group of guys that came from nothing. What they got established now is that, all right, Gunner, since, you, since the major, the major um, charges, you're not a part of that. You have bullshit charges. So, we're going to give you a charge. All you got to say is they're related. Now, maybe Gunn is thinking, hey, that ain't nothing. Just say that they're not a labor, that they're a gang. That's it. Just say they're a gang. And we'll let you on today. Now, the significance is that later on, they're going to use that if the defense lawyer says, hey, my client is the, is the leader, is the, is, you know, he owns, this is his rap label. This ain't a gang. They make millions of dollars, dollars as a rap label. They're going to say, but the number one artist on the label just admitted that they're a gang. So that kind of, you know, if you're a jury, then you're like, well, damn, why would he say that? 
Well, the defense really could say shit. He was pressured to, you know what I'm saying? Just to get out. But when you say things under oath, then that sticks. So when you look at the first guys that they let out, it was his family. It was the guys that started with him. And they, you know, they let out the guys who they said started with him, his blood family and artists. And they just all wanted him to say that they were a guy. So that that's gonna that that ain't gonna be good for Thug because I'm sure the defense is that they were that they were labeled. And they, you know what I'm saying? So that, you know, I, I, I can't speak for Gunner and I can't speak for Thug because for all we know, Thug told Gunner to take the plea. For all we know. We gotta see how it plays out. Um, but I do know. That was the chess move. So now, if they let five or six or seven out saying that, the rest of them is 28. The other 20, this is where the bodies and shit are going to come from, maybe, and higher crimes that we don't even know about. They're not even going to... Now we're going to go to you and say, okay, did, did he tell you to kill somebody? Or did he tell you to do this? You know what I'm saying? Now, a couple of these guys came and took, already took deals. One of them got a 30-year probation. Crazy. So, so, so it just, you know, it's hard to beat a Rico because of that alone, because they use people in that are, that are close to you against you. And, you know, I just shake my head every time I see somebody else coming out, you know, you know, taking a plea, because I know the only way they're going to give you a plea is, is if it's going to work on their case to get the top guy. And that's just what the Rico is. And that's how they made it. And that's how it works. And it works. Yeah. Um, you know, I pray, I pray for this man's family. I pray for all eight families. Like to keep it a hundred, man, Duga is very talented young man. Super um, talented. Gunner, super, super, influential. Talented. super influential. Super yeah. influential. Super. So I pray it work out for all their families. Like at, at the end of the day, these are young black men. And, um, you know, I, 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 I pray to God because from what I'm understanding, even if he get convicted on one of them, um, those, those charges, the Rico charges, just one. Yeah. It's, yeah. He's looking so, at 20 years. Right. But if he gets convicted as the head of a criminal organization, it's life. You know, yeah. it's just, it's, it's, again, it's, it, it's a lot. It's a lot, and again, you know, uh, I think the more, more significant stuff hasn't even been mentioned in the trial. So we're gonna, again, this is something that we're gonna have to wait and see. But I, I also pray for him, and um, because I know what it's like. It's you know what I mean, you know, like I said, I know what it's like coming up in these streets and having nothing, and you know, he helps a lot of people, and things happen in the streets. It's unfortunate. We got to be careful what we say on these on these on these songs, though. Got to be careful moving forward. The hip hop community has to be careful. You know, it can't be so personal. You can mention things like, you know, kind of, you can mention things in a broader statement, but you can't be so personal with things that may have took place as far as in your raps. And I think that's, we have to stop that because man, they're using it against us. And that to me is a con. That's against our constitutional rights, but a lot of things in the Constitution, you know, don't, don't apply to us. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.